We're here at Sierra Manufacturing Solutions today and we've been hired by a medical company to produce this stainless steel part. This is the model that we've received from our customer. They've sent us an IGES file, which is a file that's commonly used in SolidWorks. And what we're going to do now is we're going to generate a toolpath and use that toolpath at the CNC to produce this part. The challenge with this particular part is, is that it has a lot of radius on it. And rather than creating a lot of unique fixturing, which would be very costly to the customer, we're going to assign toolpath to these radiuses and do what's called surfacing. Basically with surfacing we could walk along a radius to generate the radius without using a uh, form tool with these particular radiuses. Uh, so in the next segment we're going to show you how we assign toolpath and then eventually in segment three we'll show you how this part is actually produced at the CNC. We're here again at Sierra Manufacturing Solutions, segment two. Uh, we've mentioned in segment one how we're going to assign toolpath for the CNC and what we're doing here is we're simulating toolpath. We've determined this to be the best uh, approach to produce this part. To, uh, for cost effectiveness for our customer. The software allows us to verify the tool path to ensure that we're not going to break tools or crash our machine. This is a surfacing procedure where we can walk along the radius, produce the radius, rather than using special form tools or complex fixturing. Simulation here is actually quicker than what's going to be reality at the machine. In segment three, we'll show you an actual part being produced on a CNC. What we're showing you here is the complex fixturing that's involved just to be able to hold these parts. A lot of people don't realize the time that goes into creating the fixturing so that we could work hold the parts. Essentially what we have to do is build parts so that we can build parts. Here are some of the tools that we'll be using to produce these 303 stainless steel medical parts. We're here at Sierra Manufacturing Solutions segment three and basically we're doing a final pass on this part the stainless steel part. The machine is going to go home and now we've just completed operation one of the stainless steel part. So we're doing a tool change, getting ready for operation number two. We're here at Sierra Manufacturing Solutions segment four, stainless steel part for a medical customer and we've just completed operation number two and ready to proceed to operation number three. The challenge with this particular part with all the radius is just mentioned in segment one. Now what we're showing you is the tool path that we've generated off the solid model that shows us creating the radiuses. By doing this surfacing procedure to CNC, prevents all of, of the costly fixturing involved and special form tools. Surfacing usually is a time consuming process but prevents us from having to move the part many times to various fixtures. We always recommend against unnecessary radiuses when the mechanical engineer is designing a part as it adds additional cost to the part. In this particular application, these radiuses are required because this particular part needs to be a certain weight in its medical environment. 